Kings and Queens, Sandra Fenwick, your mortgage consultant. Let's talk about cash. That money, 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 money. Cash money, baby. Now, cash is really funny in the mortgage business because of money laundering. I'm not sure if you know, but the Patriot Act was brought about after 9-11 because a lot of the terrorists funneled money through homes and buying homes and they were using the large amounts of cash to put in these investments, right? So you have to make sure that when you're dealing with cash, when it comes to the mortgage in industry, that your cash is seasoned. What does that mean? When we collect your documents and we send them to underwriting, they're looking at two months history. So if you have some money and you are looking to purchase a home and you have some money in the shoebox or under the mattress, you need to get that money and put it in the bank and let it season for two months in your account. So we will know where this money come from. We will have that two month history already intact. You cannot bring $10,000 from under your mattress or out the shoebox to the closing table. We need to source all cash and where it came from. For example, I had a couple and they both work for the same company. They drove buses. And some of the people that got on the bus could pay cash in opposed to using a card or paying, prepaying for their trip. So what they would do is collect this cash and by the end of the day, they will take it to the office, they will count it and say, okay, this cash, you keep it, and we're just going to deduct that from your paycheck at the end of the week. So they had all of this cash. They was like, we took all of our cash deposits that we got from the bus, and we kept it for when we bought a house, right? And we're going to go deposit that today. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. So what we had to do, hey, how long have you been saving this cash? We had to take all of their paychecks from a whole year ago, look at each cash deduction from the paycheck and make sure it all added up to the amount of cash that they deposited. That's how serious it is about the cash that you have. So I suggest if you are planning to buy a house in the next couple months and you have cash that you've been saving for this, take that cash and put it in the bank and allow it to season in your account. So that cash won't become an issue when we get into underwriting. Or if you're running a business or side hustle, whatever, make sure you have receipts. We can show receipts from where that cash came from. Long as we can prove that that cash came from business or from a family member, if a family member gives you cash, then we need to see that account that they deducted that cash out of. And then we need to see that it's been been deposited in your account. So it's very, very important if you have a large amount of cash, call your lender and figure out what you need to do and the proper protocols to use that cash. If you have questions, please give me a call. My cell phone is 301-326-7555. Please comment below. You can DM me and please share. Thank you guys. Bye.